It's very easy to hit a target while you're static. But what are you doing in your training that's helping you become a dynamic, moving, thinking shooter? Welcome back, guys. I'm Jason Pike, former U.S. Navy SEAL. And in this video, we're going to talk about shooting while moving, and we're going to show you some of the basic principles that's going to get you going. The first step that we use to teach our students to become very effective very quickly is to ensure that we can even maintain sights on target while we're moving. There's no reason to shoot any rounds until you can do this. So what Hayden's going to do is he's going to come out, he's going to ensure that his finger index, keep your finger off the trigger, get your sights on target, and he's simply going to walk. At any point your sights are not being maintained on target, slow down just a little bit. All right, go ahead and reholster and reset. There's a lot of principles to focus on when we're talking about ensuring maintaining sights on target. Regardless of what you do, you're going to see that your sights are bobbing up and down. So we want to simply mitigate the overall motion of our gun. All right. Obviously, good solid posture here. Good trigger manipulation is going to be important. One of the things that's really going to help you mitigate this is the posture that we're walking in, okay? So if we focus on my feet, one of the things we want to do is we won't, don't want to flat foot when we step. So it's not flat foot, flat foot, flat foot. We can't be sloppy because it's real rigid and it's going to cause some issues. So first step is heel to toe, heel to toe, heel to toe, heel to toe, so we can absorb that energy, that impact. The next thing that we want to focus on is ensuring that the body is not doing this in the knees. So we're going to learn to absorb this through our movement. So as we go heel to toe, all right, I'm absorbing this energy in this manner. As you can see, I'm not driving up. I'm staying here, here, here and here. So the way I like to describe it is imagine you have a belt on, there's a rope to the front, to the back, and each side, and it literally prevents you from moving in this manner. So the overall goal is to keep the gun as parallel as possible to the ground. The more movement we have here, the more issues we're going to have downrange. You see there's a lot of movement up and down in the gun, a lot of jarring. We want to prevent that. And it's going to be prevented through the heel to toe and ensuring that we're absorbing in the knees. One of the things you may notice if you're wearing boots, things of that nature that doesn't have as soft as a sole, you're going to be a little bit more rigid and there's not a lot you can do with it. And I'll give you another tip that's really going to help you out here shortly, okay? So now do what we're supposed to do, absorb it. A little bit of rigidity in it, but a lot less movement overall. And that's what you want, okay? Now, let's talk about when we shoot, okay? What I recommend is you start back about 20 yards. Just because you start at 20 yards or 10 yards or 15 does not mean you have to shoot, okay? I can still come out with my gun, get in my sights, and wait until I'm about... 10 feet away before I start engaging and then I can work my way back, right? Remember, set yourself up for success. Even if you're on a line with a bunch of students in a class and they start shooting back here, why shoot and set yourself up for potential failure? So let's say I'm gonna start right here at the 10 to 12 yard line. We're ready to go. I don't feel comfortable yet, I feel comfortable now and I take my shots. Now I have to mentally remember roughly or visually where I actually started taking those shots. The next drill, my overall goal is simply to shoot before I get to that point. Remember, working to a level of success, okay? Next drill, come out. I'm still not gonna shoot right now. I started shooting roughly about five feet before I did on the last drill. And then we just grow from there. So when and how do we pull the trigger? The overall goal is to have our movement dialed in to the point that I can pull the trigger at any point through that movement. We as humans think we're multitaskers, we're not. And what you'll find yourself doing is this. And then they have to stop to take the shot, okay? So that just goes to show you that one, 
We're not multitaskers, we're task switchers. And because you don't have it built on a subconscious action, you're typically gonna find yourself doing that. Or you're gonna be completely missing rounds altogether. Two, you're going faster than your mind and your body and your skill set should, okay? So what I recommend is go ahead and take the shots when the feet plant to start with, but once again, the overall goal is to get to a point where I can take that shot here if I want to, because I'm absorbing that energy through this motion, okay? So again, I'm gonna take the shots as the feet plant. And I just grow from there. Now here's something else to think about. Why do we teach shooting and moving in a forward direction? Well, there's two reasons. One, we're assaulting. Military loves to do that because we're assaulters. Law enforcement need to do that at times. As a citizen in self-defense, do I ever want to push forward while shooting? And the answer is no, and here's why. If I'm shooting from here to there, my grouping, my accuracy does not get better. It actually gets worse. So if you are the good guy and I'm the bad guy and I'm shooting, then the span gets greater. There's a greater chance of me missing you. If you close that distance, actually you're increasing my chances of hitting you and you're getting closer to me, which is absolutely pointless. So the only reason, realistically, that we want to move forward as a citizen is I'm trying to get to cover. Now, another thought process, if I have to take a long shot and I don't believe I can take that shot, maybe the threat's not directed towards me, but I have my CCW, I might wanna move forward to get a better position to take that shot. Something to think about. But moving forward is one of those things that it should not be done in all circumstances. The overall goal, if a threat is presented itself to me, we wanna get off that X linear, 45, 22, something like that very quickly and get completely out of this kill box. Remember, just because I'm telling you we should not move forward unless there's an intelligent process behind it, we still wanna practice it, especially if you're a new shooter. God put eyes in front of your head and this is the most common natural thing that we do every single day, so it's a good place to start. But what we often see is people want to square up with their target. So even if I want to shift positions, you'll see them turn their feet they'll turn their feet to the other target. So as we engage and do these drills, we also want to walk straight towards the target, but shift like a turret from the waist and engage. So just like this. I don't wanna change my path of motion, I simply want to change the angle that I'm engaging at. Hope you guys liked the video. Let us know in the comments what you think. Have a great day and God bless.